G'day, it's Rob here again. Well, I'm pressing on with this new steam engine I'm building and I'm making up a, a part for it and I have to cross drill into the tubing I'm machining up. I have to have four equally spaced holes around it and to do that I'm using something I've shown you before, but I'll show you again. It's just a bit of eye candy. It's the little 775 powered uh, cross and radial drill. And this is one of the handiest things I've, and most useful things I've ever made. And I use it for drilling, cutting, grinding. It's fantastic. Very accurate little unit. And it's, it's uh, running off a 5 amp. Uh, 60 volt power supply that I got from Banggood which is also very good, a gopher at one. Anyway, you can come along for the ride and I'll just show you what I'm doing here and you can see this little thing in action again and maybe get you fired up to build up one of these units because they are super, super handy if you're into any sort of model making or you know machining small stuff where, yeah, in this case we're using a, I'm not sure what size drill that is, I'll check it. We're using a 5 mil drill, so a stub drill. You can see we're using a paper indexing disc with four, four segment marks on it. And that's just between the, the chuck and the driving plate. They're very simple to make up, you just print them off on the internet. And I'm just using my uh, test indicator just as a reference point, and you can just uh, move it around as you want. I've done one hole, so all we have to do is just move it around to the next position and drill the hole. It's a good, simple system. Works really well. This is the power supply we're using. It's a damn good unit. I'm spinning this at. 18 volts, whatever that is, but it's that's about right for drilling. And this is mild steel. What? On the harder side of mild. It does it pretty easy. It's pulled four amps doing that. Go to the next position. I'll well, sharpen that drill. I think it might have had a bit of a chip on the edge. Good now. Ha! Don't take much. Keep that easy. Oh, they're all done. Well, oh, well, easy as that. Okay, we'll check them Just to make sure they're all clean and done properly. And once again, the paper chart makes it easy to reposition, double check. Piece of cake. Amazing what a bit of paper can do to solve all your worries. It's as easy as that. Perfect though. Great little unit. Anybody that says otherwise, 
was blowing smoke out their ass. <laughs> I love it. I reckon it's so, so handy. And it's not just drilling, it's grinding, and I've even used it to mill, you know, small, very small milling. And yeah, for brass, great. For steel, yeah, you can do it, but it's a bit of a load on it. And I think you really, it'll pay to double up the bearings. And you can actually do that on this. The, uh, I'll loosen off the head. There's nothing to stop you machining out this aluminium and, and putting four ball races in there. At the moment it's got two, one each end. But you could easily put in twice as many. It's got the capacity to take them. And then, yeah, I mean, I've done milling with this, and there's really, there's no slop in it. it. It's still pretty damn good, considering, you know, the amount of work it's done, and it's been asked to do stuff that really shouldn't <laughs> be doing. It's not really a mill. But, yeah, the single ball races are holding up okay, and as I said, down the track, if I get sloppy, I'll put in a double set. All right, that's it for me. Interesting stuff. And uh, we'll see you next time. Cheers.